still gorgeous. So I posted this photo on my Instagram and so many of you wanted to see a tutorial on the hair and so I decided to film it for you. I'm very into messy hair right now, I just think that it looks really effortlessly sexy and it's really easy to do because it doesn't have to be too perfect. All you're going to need for this is a curling rod. This is a one and a half inch barrel. It's a her styler. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. But personally, I think most curling rods and things work pretty much the same, in my opinion. Um, but I'm going to start out by brushing out any tangles. I'm starting from the bottom of my hair and working my way up. This makes the detangling process a lot less painful <laughs> and you won't damage your hair so much this way. Um, then sectioning off your hair is just going to make it a lot easier to curl everything without missing any spots. And then I'm just picking up my rod in my right hand so that I can curl the left side of my hair. I'm angling the rod downwards and using my other hand to wrap the hair around the wand. The hair doesn't need to be flat against the barrel. If it twists as you wrap it, let it. It's going to give you the right spiral S-shaped effect. And if you notice, I'm also leaving a bit of hair out at the ends. It's just going to keep things from looking too done. Um, and I like to make sure that the pieces next to my face are curling away from it. As far as the rest of my hair goes, it's mostly I'm mostly curling everything away from my face, but I do alternate a little bit and add some pieces that curl inwards, just for a little bit of variation, a little bit of texture, just so that things aren't all going in the same direction. Um, when I'm done with one side, I go in and I grab a few skinny pieces and recurl them just for some extra definition, but honestly, I only do this when I have extra time and I'm usually in a rush, so I usually save this for the end. But anyway, for the other side, I pick up the rod in my opposite hand and then just do the same thing. To curl away from the face, just place the barrel behind the hair and then start wrapping it around. To curl towards the face, place the barrel in front of the piece and then start wrapping it around. I'm also leaving um, a little bit of hair at the ends, like I said before, this also helps you not burn your fingers. Um, you can use a heat protecting glove. I recommend that, but I just have a really difficult time using them. I like to be able to feel the hair as I'm curling it. Um, otherwise, I don't really know what I'm doing. Things slip out of my fingers and I have burnt myself quite a few times. I'm kind of used to it, but just be really careful. Don't do this when you're drunk. <laughs> just be careful. I'm warning you. Um, and really this is just a simple process. It's all the same all the way around the hair. Just let down a little bit more hair at a time. I usually let down too much hair because I have quite a bit of it on my head. Um, and then when I get to this top back section, I do that first just so that I won't lose it later. And now I'm just finishing up the top section. I usually take a little bit more time here just because this is what's going to actually show. And depending on my mood, sometimes I'll go really curly and make sure everything's very defined. And I'll take those skinny pieces and really make sure that they're very defined. Or I'll take larger pieces just for a little bit of a looser kind of um, wave. So just keep that in mind. You can vary everything and alternate. It just looks better actually when you add, add a little bit more variation. And that's pretty much it, but once I get to the very front pieces, this is the key. I don't like to leave the iron on there for too long. I mainly just want to get a bend going on just because really curly front pieces don't look that great. So I wrap and sort of push the rod down and then pull it out quite quickly. So if you can see that, look at the other side, I'm doing the same thing. Wrapping the hair around the barrel and then pushing the barrel down a bit and then pulling it out really quickly. So that's pretty much it. That's my hair done. I do like to take a few little skinny strands here and there just to add a little bit of fluff, a little bit of texture, kind of make it look almost a little bit witchy in my opinion. Um, but yeah, just give it a good shake and that's the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again very, very soon. Bye.